321 Smash Mouth Sports. Thank you for tuning in. It might take a minute or two to come through, but we appreciate you joining us today. Talking about our former president, Barack Obama. Yes, you clicked on the right link, Barack Obama. The question is, do you agree with Barack Obama? That is the question, and we're going to get into that. What What is the uh, sports show, Smash Mouth Sports, your host, Preston Bailey and Cam Vieira, what are they talking about Barack Obama for? That is your question. Well, I'm assuming... You didn't read. You just saw Obama. You got excited. You got triggered, and you started clicking. So <clears throat> the question is, over the weekend, uh, Bill Simmons hosts a huge podcast, one of the biggest podcasts, and his question was, and their question was, uh, to Barack Obama, among a litany of topics, but I took out a snippet. The snippet that I want to talk about is what Barack Obama said. He said that college athletes should be paid. Those are his words, not mine. Now, I agree with him. So I do, I. do not always agree with Barack Hussein Obama, but I agree with him. In this case, I do agree with him. I do think athletes should be paid. I had a girlfriend years ago, uh, many years ago, not probably been 10, 11 years ago now, where uh, um, she was going to college. She had a lot of student loans, and I understand that's a hot-button issue for a lot of people. And she got mad when I said, you know, yes, college athletes should be paid. And she said what a lot of people feel is, don't they get a college degree and free room and board? Yes, they do. Uh, so, Cam, before I give my follow-up to that, let's get you in here, Cam. So, so do you agree with uh, Mr. Former President Barack Obama on college yes, athletes I, getting paid? Tell me why. Yes, I do agree with uh, number 44. Uh, because um, we call him? We call him number 44. You know, now, before you go too deep here... Some people get angry when you call people by their number, you know, 44, 45, 98, 3. So uh, you, you don't want to call them by President Obama, former President Obama? Is that, is that what it is? President Obama. That's yeah, okay. fine. Okay. I mean, number 44. If you feel, if you, feel you don't like them that much, number 44, you know, let's go. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but keep going. Well, I mean, I, I've seen former presidents, when they interact with each other on social media, will say, I think Bill Clinton was number, what was he, 42 well, it was just the Bush senior, number 39. So it's just something I saw once. But anyway, um, no, I agree. So, so not to derail us, but are, are you a former president that I'm unaware of? Is this something no. that is, you got some breaking? Okay, so go, go ahead. Um, I just, I'm no. just telling you what people are going to say because I read the minds right away. I think, wow, number 44, you got, you're that casual. Okay. I've, I don't personally, I don't like it when um, commentators call people. 44, 23, and I'm talking about sport, I, number 23. I, I just, I never liked that. To me, it's too casual. You don't know the guy, but go ahead, Cam. I didn't mean to steal your theme, but go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. It's quite okay. But no, I agree with uh, President Obama. I do agree that college athletes should be paid because for the very simple reasons, they use their likeness on jerseys and video games and stuff like that, and the NCAA is allowed to profit off of it, but the players aren't. I mean, come on, I that's agree. just wrong. I, I agree with you, and I'm going to go deep in the weeds here. And, and this is this is it started off casual and fun, and not by design, but it's going to over the course of this conversation, this ten or fifteen minute conversation, it's going to go a little bit in the ditch. And here's why: uh, for many years, Ed O'Bannon and his tw and his twin brother, I want to say it was Charles O'Bannon, the O'Bannon brothers, they were big. Uh, really, I think it might have been close to 20 years now. They were twins. They won a national championship for LSU, or excuse me, I'm sorry, UCLA. I don't know why I thought LSU. I had LSU on the mind. UCLA, excuse me, UCLA College Basketball, one of the elite programs, and they sued because exactly what you said, their likeness and so on and so forth. Now, here is number one. You know, I brought this up to uh, my mom and some other family members of mine, and they said, well, don't they get a college scholarship? Yes, mom, they do get a college scholarship. Uh, yes, friends and family, they do get a college scholarship. Let's round up. Let's just say the average is twenty, thirty. Let's just say for the sake of this conversation, it's worth thirty to forty thousand dollars a year at your average non-Harvard, non-traditional. Is that fair to say? Thirty to forty grand value. Yeah, sounds about right. Room yep. and board. We'll, we'll call it forty grand. And you're like, well, they're getting forty grand a year to dribble a basketball or throw a football. Okay. And let me go. Let me go through this. And then other people said to me, well, when I said this take, because I like to get friends and family's take before I go on the air, before the millions and millions of fans of Smash Mouth Sports. So here is what I, I said. They go, well, can't they work? 
I'm glad you asked that question. As a matter of fact, when you're an elite D1 college athlete, you're forbidden from working. Correct. You are forbidden. So if you are a rank and file. So they have no way to make money. Average college student trying to become a business major, whatever your goal is, you want to open a flower shop, you want to be the next Facebook, whatever it is, you can sell cars on the nights and weekends at the local car lot if you're a rank and file. If you are, we're going to use Tim Tebow and Zion as an example because they're the most recent super, super high profile that transcended college sports. If you are Tim Tebow or Zion, you're actually forbidden from selling cars selling flowers, selling baseball working cards, at Burger King, right. working at Burger King. The, the, the sick part, now we can have a debate on what is the fair revenue number. Should we pay them 30 grand, 50 grand? We can have that debate for another time. But the first debate is, should they be paid? Yes, you should be paid for your services. And, and here is what was what, the thing, and I always felt this way, but what was really jarring to me was I remember after Tim Tebow's sophomore season, Tim Tebow Still is, and at the time, at 19, 20 years old, was worldwide athlete. Everybody in the world knew Tim Tebow. Everybody. Okay. Perhaps the most popular college athlete ever, correct? Perhaps, perhaps the most college athlete ever, one of the best ever. See, to him or I, Christian. I saw him for this ESPN documentary and special getting out of a dilapidated, looked like an old Mercury Marquis, looked like my first car, <laughs> an old dilapidated 1990-something, Mercury Marquee, the door didn't work. And I thought, and of course, you you know intellectually, they're college athletes, they're poor, regardless of their status. But to see Tim Tebow at his level get out of this awful, dilapidated car, <laughs> eating ramen noodles, going to this impressive ESPN interview, it, it just reminds you, he's a poor college athlete just like everybody else. And he's got crazy fans. He's got stalkers. He's got psycho college University of Florida fans, men and women that follow him. So, yes, he should be allowed to take his girlfriend out to dinner, steak and lobster, have a 200 hour cell phone and so on and so on. What are your thoughts, Cam? In fact, wasn't it Chase Young last year who got suspended for a game because the Ohio State coach paid for his girlfriend to come to the game or something? I believe it was either his, I don't have it in front of me, but I believe it was Chase Young. It was either his girlfriend. I might even say it was his family that flew to the game because of a family circumstances. Right, on the coach's dollar. Right, on the, coach the coach's paid. dollar. He paid whatever it was, five, six, seven hundred dollars for them to fly, whatever the bill was. And that's my problem. My, my problem is, and I'm lumping basketball and football because those are the two dominant sports. Of course. Okay. So that's what we're going to focus on. And the problem I have is if a coach makes 10 or 12 or $15 million, even if the coach makes a million dollars a year, he's a high paid guy and he can't pay two or $300 for his best player's dinner, cell phone bill, $500 for the family to fly to the game in Louisiana or Georgia, wherever it is. I have a huge problem with that. Ken. What are your and thoughts? there was another example of that last year in basketball. I mean, I'm, I'm going to, the player's name slips me right now, but it was actually, since you're an Orlando Magic fan, Penny Hardaway, the coach at Memphis, who paid for his player's family to move to Memphis because the player wanted his family to be close. And I think the player got suspended for like 10 games because Penny Hardaway played for the fa family to move to Memphis. James Wiseman. It was James Wiseman. James okay. Wiseman from Memphis. Now, for those that don't know, for those that are uh, under 30 who don't know, who, because Penny Hardaway was great, but much like Grant Hill – they were both great for a niche in the 90s, uh, maybe early 2000s, but they they didn't have a long sustained career. So for a short period of time, they were MVP caliber players, but they both had injury problems that shortened their careers, unfortunately. Correct. But specifically Penny Hardaway, wildly successful with Shaq, with some of the other guys playing for the Phoenix Suns, very successful, multimillionaire 10 times over. The so only, the one of the only players to beat Jordan in that run. Correct. So for, for him to give five or 10 grand, it's huge for that family. But for him, he can afford to give 10 or 15 grand. And I and I did not like it. I, I don't even want to say what I want to say that it felt what they were punishing. But it, it, it did feel that they were punishing Penny and this young man. It had a tint of racism to it. I'm sorry to say, and I'm not one that cries racism. But again, here's why I say that. You know, if I had a rich uncle, if I had a rich uncle 
that gave me ten or fifteen thousand dollars in high school or college, it would be a non-issue. Correct. You know, until if you I get to college. Uncle, correct. If I had a rich uncle, okay, uh, named uh, Qu- Quarter Hardaway instead of Penny Hardaway, if he was Quarter or Dollar, if he was Dollar Hardaway, whatever name you want to use, and quarter he gave me ten or fifteen thousand uh, dollars, it would be a, it would be a non-issue. It would be correct. a non-issue. So what's the difference? If in that situation, he wanted to give him 10 or 15 grand for the family to move. And then the, the reason why it was a violation is because ironically, that same young man, a couple years later, ends up going to play for him at Memphis. He was a mentor of his. Like, th- this is where, and I, I don't want this to get derailed because this could turn into a seven hour show about government. If you love government, number one, you love the you're NCAA. An idiot. You're an <laughs> idiot. Number two, look at the NCAA. They are a government entity. You can say, well, blah, 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 blah. They're a government entity. They, they rule have, with an iron fist. They rule with an iron fist, much like the government. There is no negotiation. There is no, uh, you know, oh, can we talk about it? No. When the government brings the hammer down, it's it, it's final. I remember years ago, for Bucks fans, Tampa Bay fans, okay, this is the Rays, but for Bucks fans, for Tampa Bay fans, uh, the, the not the Glazers, excuse me, the Culver House says before, we're going to draft Bo Jackson number one overall. This is in the 80s now, mid-80s. And he was an elite athlete in basketball and football. They told him, we're going to draft you number one. Stop playing college baseball. Right? Right. They brought him in for a dinner, for awards and everything. Because we said, we're going to draft you number one. He said, no. He said, I'm an elite baseball player. I'm an elite football player. He told the owner to his face. This is in the 80s, way before progressive movements and so forth, way before players had the mobility they do now. He told them to his face. Absolutely not. I'm not going to quit baseball. They then, the very next morning, called the NCAA, and he got in trouble. Oh, that's cheap. He was cheap. The Culver Houses were cheap. So, But the point is, to get back to the task at hand with the, with the government, anti-government, is I believe in a free market society. So these young men, these players, typically 18 or 22-year-old young, young men, many of them young black men, African-American men, uh, wh- whatever the market. So my problem is this. If if you upper deck, I, I don't even know who the main uh, big uh, base basketball and football manufacturers are anymore. You know, it used to be Fleer and Upper Deck and Downrest. Now they're all out of business. Those are the ones when I was a kid. Cam, do you know? Did you ever get uh, football cards, baseball cards? Uh, no. That's the best part. I'm so glad you came came through with that one for me. But the the point is, whoever uh, the company is, Tops. Tops is a good company. Tops been around. So Tops, whoever it is, Tops, Upper Deck, whoever the big companies are now. Uh, maybe we should get them some sponsors to the show they can tell us who they are so they can uh, contact us but but anyways the, the, the point is to, to set the standard i'm going to use tebow so the abandons have been trying for years here here is my problem my problem is if if in the or if in the first year they wanted to roll out if the first year they wanted to say anything under 10 grand we're going to let go on the wayside i would be totally fine with that okay a coach gives you a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars for this game or that game or the other here is the other point. If you are Tim Tebow, to use him as an example, and you're playing Alabama for, for the national title game, and you throw an interception, or if you get sacked and lose a fumble, tens of millions of people are going to get angry at you. And it's going to be watched forever. It'll be watched forever. And if you tear an ACL your sophomore, junior, senior year, unless you are the elite of the elite, odds are your career is over. Odds are you're selling life insurance. And you, I'm glad you just said that, too, because even these guys we see on these elite programs, Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, basketball, Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, North Carolina, while they might have a handful of guys, still most of them aren't going to go professional in sports. And and they should be able to make some money. It's it's just and like you just said, if they shred their elbow or tear their knee up, then it's over. They're selling life insurance. And here is the thing, uh, and with all due respect to guys that sell life insurance, nobody wants to sell life insurance. But the, the point the point being, it's to use Tim Tebow as an example. Tim Tebow or Zion. Zion is the most recent case a year ago. Zion for Duke. You know he tore his shoe off. He got injured. He ended up getting drafted number one. It's a mute point. Tim Tebow made millions. Uh, in the NFL, didn't work out. Then he's, he's got books, he's got this, he, he's still got tons of money. But the point is, it's not about Tim Tebow and Zion. Tim Tebow and Zion are going to be fine. Those guys are going to be fine. There's one of those guys per league, maybe one of those guys per team. 
the, the point is, is the other guys that have nagging injuries. So, so here is to, to come full circle. I don't have a problem, you know, if Tim Tebow, Percy Harvin, whoever you want to name, works for the local Toyota or Ford dealership and they pay him a thousand dollars a month. And let, let's say they pay him two thousand dollars a month. Come buy a new Ford. Come buy a new Toyota Camry with Tim Tebow. And they give him two thousand dollars a month. That's great. They sell one car. They're making two thousand dollars. They've got their money back. They're going to sell hundreds of cars. Okay, sure. that that's the point. Or at least ten, at least dozens of cars. Worst case scenario, they're going to sell ten or fifteen cars. Okay, so he's going to Tim Tebow's going to get his money, two or three grand, whatever the number. Pay him like a salesman, two or three grand for whatever. And my problem is, I am anti-government. I'm anti the NCAA taking advantage of these young men. And you made it a point exactly. They don't get a dollar from the video games. And as a consumer. I hate the fact that I have to pretend that number 15 for Florida Gators is not Tim Tebow. It's no name on the back. Okay. So so the guy that's 6'3", 240 pounds, that's left-handed, that's big and strong and muscular, and number 15 is no name on the back, is, defi- is definitely not Tim Tebow? That, that's that's my problem. Okay. So that that is my problem. So uh, make sure you like and t- subscribe to the channel before we forget. By the way, the numbers are growing up. The numbers are going up. I like it. We're getting more and more views every day, more and more subscribers. Before you know it, we'll have a thousand subscribers and we'll be wondering why we were ever worried about getting uh, subscribers. No, it's true. It's absolutely true. 100%. Right, well, you, you're yawning, so you, 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 you've had enough. But yes, like and subscribe to the channel. But to, to end this video, uh, that was terrible, by the way. Ken, it was a horrible way to end this video with a yawn. But, anyways, uh, get some, uh, some monsters, crush those. But like and subscribe to the channel. But at, at the, to button this up, I agree with Barack Obama, former president, or as you just call him, random number 44. Uh, <laughs> like, and, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. Thank you.